Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing all well. In today's video, I am going to show you how I made this resin decorative bouncing. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Here I have my molds that I made the last episode. I am going to link it at the end of this video. So the first thing I am putting down some transparent resin and letting it cure. I am super, super, super excited about today's episode for three reasons. The first reason is because I'm using my molds that I made myself, so it's always exciting. The second exciting thing comes from, in today's video, I am going to be using uh, Leah Dia Design Inspired Technique. So I am shout out to Nadia and I am very excited to try out because I have been following her designs and she also has a YouTube channel for a while and everything she makes is absolutely amazing and stunning and wonderful. So yeah. And the third is that this video is Halloween open collaboration with Claire's Crafty Corner and on Saturday the 30th. So today that you are seeing it, uh, it's gonna appear on her Instagram and we all artists are gonna to showcase our makes for this collaboration. Hi Claire! So, okay, back to this video. Uh, the resin has cured and I am making the letters B O O for the Halloween bounting. I am not very good at free drawing myself, so that's why I found these letters on internet and I copy them. And I am tracing them around here. And after that's been done, I am taking this Pebeo outliner and again tracing my line and after i gonna leave it for about two hours so it hardens slash dries and i can come in and paint it with my colors also i would like that my bouncing looks kind of stained glass style so i am making these lines that represent the broken glass and it is my very first time using this outliner and it does take a little time to get used to kind of piping it out. So yeah, bear in mind that in the beginning, nothing comes out perfect.
So now that the outliner has dried, I am going to use my colors and glitter and mix it with Dura Clear Gloss Varnish to make my colors and color them in. And you mix this varnish together with anything or mica pigment or glitter and color them in. Just the only advice I would give that I discovered in this process is to use uh, the smallest brush possible. So the suggestion is to use paintbrush size zero zero. And after you color in, you should leave the design to dry for about six to eight hours. Uh, as I wasn't sure, I left it overnight. And now I am putting down some clear resin to seal in my design. 
and yes uh, you need to be ready for bit baby sitting the resin because it does release a lot of bubbles from the glitter so i was there for about 10 minutes to blowing with my heat gun and trying to get rid of my bubbles and after that you just cover it and wait that it cures this is the next day and it is time to unmold it i am not too happy how the resin cured and i think i will sand it down a bit and apply another clear resin top coat uh, and here it is my first bunting piece and i am quite happy how it turned out i think for the first time trying this technique i did pretty well and my 10 year old son asked me if he could keep this bouncing as he liked it very much and i said of course why not if you like it you can have it and here once more it's the ready result so happy halloween if you found this video useful and entertaining please let me know by leaving comment down below but for now i'm saying bye bye until next time bye